be a short video today just showing what we've been up to at Signpost. So we have a Signpost website, which all members get access to. This is the members dashboard, and I'll show some of the interesting features um, that we've been working on here. And uh, some of the different things, you know, research center, interesting amino acid work, and really just kind of having fun with what can we do if we actually have the time to build um, you know, together. I've, I've been building this pretty much my, entirely myself, but I do have now a second developer, Johnny Cruz, who's getting up to speed on it, and we're actually doing a video series. Um, we'll be doing a video series that I'll, we'll have available. Yeah, this is my local machine, so this actually doesn't have uh, full production data, but uh, if, you were, if we were live on which... Um, in any case, this is... Um, yeah, that's where I've been doing a lot of my testing. And here's my, my body graph. You can see some of the interesting features. So it consists of this website as well as a Discord. And the Discord is really where a lot of the action happens. There's a lot of conversation here right now. Um, oh, look at that. So uh, Richard's on. I actually usually tune into this. Today I've just been working so much I didn't have a chance, but I can watch the playback because he'll post the playback right after it happens. And we can see some of the upcoming events. We try to add them at least a week in advance, but although we can't always um, always do that, sometimes they're kind of impromptu. And then uh, I actually have an exciting project coming up um, where I'll be doing a lot more events on here for just kind of a special month. I'm actually working on the month of March programming. So it's kind of fun because the events are like programming where you want to continue to surprise and delight the members and uh yeah we have a nice little nice little group of members and so um yeah here's just some of the basics of that's our own private chat basement is where we have all off topic anything people want to share like i post dj mixes here i put you know we, things we talk about little videos this was photos of santa fe maine Oh yeah, this is just an automated event uh, updater log. And then main has basically the main chat. Let me kind of just go up a little bit and people can see. Let's see where we are. Okay, so this is some of the conversation going on. So you can just kind of see this was during Mike's Surfing the Zeitgeist. So every Tuesday and Thursday, Mike, Michael Steenbeck Litvin, does a two-hour basically radio program where he looks at all the top trending stories and top trending things and so on and um, it's like live radio and then people people can chat while it's happening so that's a lot of fun let's see uh, we have we had qigong last week that was really nice we have an automated bot that just tracks a number of different human design accounts on youtube and posts that was janica janica uh, lee and abe N uh, nadimi they've been a big hit at the hdhd conference and they're Entrepreneurial sessions have been a huge hit here. They've been doing really in-depth entrepreneurial support work with people. James Deans has a radio program with us, and that's him sharing Selen Parman, a DJ mix. Um, let's see, just different, yeah, conversations going on, different uh, videos being posted. And then there's different rooms where people will post uh, things that they've made or done, and, you know, if members want some members and some hosts. I've been showing off some of the new features on the, on the website. That's mostly what I post. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we have a, a video archive of some of our events that we've had as well here, just for convenience. So people who were part of things can watch, watch them back and so on, or who missed it and want to get a chance to see it. So then over on the website side of it, and this is just where I've been coding you know, I've actually been working on the audio player aspect of it. You can see some of the, um, these are some of the websites we have in the works and some of the projects, special interest and so on. But um, here we have just some of the features, like just in terms of advanced analysis, you can look at Magic Square, for instance, and see that only my moon has color resonance to my nodes in Sun Earth. And then when I have color resonance to other people, my health in these areas, like my tone of voice is going to be very determined by the people who are around me who have color two and color five, um, as well as being, you know, related to 
design uh, Jupiter, my aura, and design um, Uranus, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not such a magic square analyst, but I, I like to, I like, so this, this feature, so this, this was my own addition, but this feature actually came from James Alexander, where he said, it would be nice if I could mouse over the sun earth and see what it connects to. And I was like, oh, let's add that. And then what, why not add it for the nodes? And then why not add it also for those things that don't connect? So we've been having a lot of fun working on, uh, on things here. And I, you know, I built all of this by scratch. I mean, this is really a lot of work, but it's worth it. And it's been really exciting. And for myself, I've also learned so much, like being able to build, here's for instance, a gate browser. Um, now all of this, everything here is what everyone gets. However, the last, um, I was gonna say, because I'm also using a custom I Ching file and so actually some of this is still being built out, some of these features. But you can see that any gate I click on, so I'm on gate 25. Oh, oh there we go. I, I got it in a weird state. I'm just going to refresh there. This is one of the newer features I added in the last couple days. So from here I can just hit next, and then next from gate 25 is gate 36. And this is a really nice way to learn. And then you'll see that this here, um, the text, is basically from the Ray V. Ching. But the thing is, because the Ray Ching is copyrighted, if you actually log into this with a brand new account, uh, let me just see if I can uh, see if that works locally. Oh, it doesn't sound like that. Here we go. Oh, but this, this account, let me see. Let me see what happens. Oh, yeah, that worked. Perfect even though I logged in because I'm in a new, basically what'll happen is if I want to show gate and line information, I have to upload an I Ching file. And the reason we do this is because the I Ching files are copyrighted, different interpretations. Now there are public domain ones and you can add different ones. This is the same way Neutrino Design does it, by the way. But um, so for a new account, you, it'll say, please upload a custom I Ching file to view gate and line information. Now I, I don't like that it gives people that bad experience. I'd rather, uh, let me turn some of this stuff on. Yeah, might as well. But um, yeah, you can. So you can see a lot of cool things just off the bat. But I'd like to give people a default I Ching, so I think I, I will do that. It just can't be Ra's Ray V Ching because Ra's Ray V Ching is copyrighted. So that's one of the, the problems. And I don't want to use. I would never use a Chat GPT alternate translation or something because that. So I mean, the options are either to write my own in my own words, my own creative effort which is quite an undertaking to write 384 lines, or just to allow people to upload the custom I Ching file. And that's uh, where you can have an I Ching like this that, that you own, that, that you possess, that is yours. And what can happen is, there you go. Once you've uploaded it, you get all of the I Ching information. And I actually want to do that for all of the lines as well. So once you've uploaded it, and you go to the lines, you'll be able to actually have like a line navigator through all 384 lines. But you can see right now, we just have, these are just some of the, some of the reference pages. Um, so you can kind of, oh, so I'm actually working on the, the channel aspect right now. These are some of the gates and you know, these, these aren't copyrighted. So everybody has access to these because these kinds of names and so on are part of the system. But the Ray V. Ching, which is the description of the lines, is a creative effort. And so um, that's, that's why we have that little complexity there. So, but anyway, yeah, these are just some of the, uh, oh yeah, I was doing some testing there. Testing out different parts of it, but um, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun building this, and it's been really, really cool building out these features. And I'm just so excited to continue working on it and continue learning. And I mean, it's really been a, a labor of love and something that I've grown and learned a lot from. And then having the Discord community is just so nice, and being able to have Discord on my phone. Oh, and there we go. That is uh, okay. That is my time. Well, <laughs> thank you all for watching. And uh, it looks like I have to, to jump off, but you can kind of see, hopefully this was a little good peek into some of what we've been up to. So thank you for watching.